All right, we need to turn the crank to remove the belts. 24 millimeter, nice ratchet. Turn it clockwise, stick a screwdriver up in there. And as you turn it, that belt will walk off like that, okay? Okay, I got both belts off. Now, I think I'm gonna do is, I removed the lower air hoses out of the shroud. Little tabs going inside there. Some will break, some won't. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't. And I'll undo my lower radiator hose from the water pump. And I'll dump my coolant on into a pan. And I'll lower it down. And I wanna, I gotta take this harmonic balancer off. Gotta have that special puller, puller. So, I think I might take the radiator shroud out to get a little bit more access. And I might even remove the water pump and uh, the vacuum pump. I think it's gotta come off too. So, we'll see. I'm taking the vacuum pump off. It has four 13 millimeter head bolts. One here, and one over on top, and one there, and one up on top there. Right here, it's real tight fit, so you need a thinner socket. All right. So on the back side, I used chrome swivel, real tight fit, and a long extension. Did that for the back two, and for the front two, I used a 13 impact swivel deep wall. All right. And here's the two front bolts. And the two back bolts are still in it. Okay, the back two bolts, front two bolts, and the gasket. All right, you got another connector going to the front cover. And right here, you get all of that red lock all the way even with the end of it. And you can push them down. If you have a hard time, you have to come through the top with a small screwdriver and pry that up and pull on at the same time. And it's loaded full of dirt, so. All right, undid the lower rear air hose, brought it all the way down here, and dumped it into my drain pan that it drained for a while. And next, I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna remove the belt tensioner. Looks like it's got a 15 millimeter bolt head on it. I'm gonna remove that. And I removed the alternator. I got a 15 here and a 15 there. A 13 for the main electrical. And a 13 here for this bracket going off to the side. Remove that. Also, here's your electrical connector for the alternator. You got to squeeze it together and pull it up. Because I want to get this bracket off. That bracket goes all the way down there and it goes underneath the AC compressor. I need to get this bracket off so I can undo this crossover tube for the coolant from head to head. Just in case you weren't told before you remove the alternator main power cable, disconnect your negative battery cable, okay? All right, got that alternator off. Took the two bolts out. I did my little bracket, get that out of the way. Get my terminal off the bat, back. But man, had to pry that alternator out of there. It was tight. So what you did, what you want to do is spray them down with some penetrant, because these are little sleeves. They slide. So let them soak for a little bit, and then tap them with a little hammer to, to, to bring them out a little bit. Just tap them. You don't want to hit them too hard because then you'll break the ear off. So you just want to tap the, the inside of them, of that sleeve, to move them out. So when you go back together, it won't be so tight. Okay. Got a 15 millimeter head bolt. Goes in here. All right. And you got a 13 millimeter head bolt. 
It goes in the top of the uh, AC compressor. Over here, right, right there. Okay, and then you take that nut off the AC compressor stud. Take the 13 millimeter for the ground cable off. And there is no washer underneath it. No car washer or anything. So now next we're gonna do is go underneath and see what else is holding that bracket, this bracket on. All right, the uh, AC compressor's got two bolts. Not really two bolts, but one long bolt that goes to the top. We took that out, out from up on top. It goes all the way through, through a bracket and, and the nuts in the back of the compressor. And then we got this one right here. He's removed that nut from up on top, but we're gonna remove this stud with a five millimeter socket. It's not an inverted Torx, it's an Allen, okay? And now we can wiggle our compressor out of there, hopefully. All right, I pried the compressor off of there. Now the compressor is loose. All right, and now my bracket is loose. So I'm gonna lower it back down and I'm gonna take my little bracket off. Here's my bracket. This is where the AC compressor goes. All right, and here also. Okay, that's where the alternator went, so there we are. Next is crossover tube with the water pump. So I gotta disconnect the upper air hose and I'm going to remove the 13 millimeter head bolts. I'm assuming there's four and four. We'll see. And also you got your two heater hoses over here. So I'll remove the clamps, spray it down some penetrant, and I'll try wiggling them. And then I'll put my small screwdriver underneath the lip of the hose and work the penetrant in there to remove them. I did my coolant hoses. I did my upper radiator hose. I did my little nipple for the, uh, I guess bypass and there's a nut right here for this wire harness and a bolt down here for the wire harness that goes into the pump housing crossover need to remove those get those off of there and i just removed these electrical connectors to get them out of the way this one was easy this one was a pain in the butt to get to that release was terrible I think the little pusher thing is broke on it. So what I did was I went around the front of it with a pick like that one, stuck it in there, lifted it up a little bit and pulled the connector off. They sell those with the sensor. So be advised on that.
Next thing I'm gonna do is loosen up the fan shroud. Got two tens, one on each side. Right down here below the radiator hose is one. Remove that one. And the bottom one is a little notch it goes into. And on the passenger side, same thing. Right here goes into. Remove the tan and then you can lift it up out of the little notch out of the bottom. Still won't come out because of the cool lines, so I'm gonna remove my oil cool lines. That way they'll get out of my way down there. And you have the little plastic retainers that go over the oil cool line on the passenger side. Just remove it off of there, push it off to the side. And then you got the E-clip, spray some penetrant on it. And you get a pick and remove the E-clip or use the special tool that pushes in on it and expands it. And then once you do that, you can pull the line off. You have to wiggle it pretty good sometimes. <sighs> okay, I use my tool. Goes over the oil line, push it in there, and you turn it. And these things go around the notches of it. And when you turn it, it lifts them up. So that way you can pull the line out. And the line's out. Did the top one and the bottom one. So now hopefully I can Weasel my fan shroud up so I can unplug it from each fan. There's two of them. Okay, I got my fans unplugged. Had no locks in it. But one thing it does have a little retainer right here you gotta pull out. And then what you do is you push it down right here. And then you can pull them off. Got them both off. I didn't do nothing with the trans lines. Drain lens is still intact, but the oil line is totally out of the way now, which is cool. So now I can get access to my dampener, get my tool in there, get my impact in here so I can remove my bolt. There we go. Next, I remove my crank bolt, 24 millimeter. Okay. My balance is off. I use the long one. Okay, use this type of puller. Next, what you wanna do is go up to the front cover, remove all your bolts. Make sure you don't lose the little plastics. Little guides, okay? Cause some of them stay in there. Sometimes they kind of come out and fall off. So make sure you don't lose them. And when you get the cover off, make sure you pull them out, put them back on the bolts. I stuck a pry bar in here, and inside there, and I pried it off. 
against this bolt. It's loose. So now all you gotta do is finish getting it off the other side. Okay. So make sure you hold on to it when you pry it off. You don't want it just falling out. Okay, when you get it off, set it off to the side like that. Get an idea of what's going on inside there. And you come up to the solenoid. You can unplug this thing from inside here. Pull it straight out. Then you want to unplug it. To unplug it, it's got a lock on it. You'll pull the lock out just a little bit. And then you gotta squeeze it together and then you can unplug it, okay? So now I can go ahead and pull my front cover out of there. All right. Now, you got four bolts holding the oil pump on. So you can remove those four. And this also has the guides, the plastic guides sleeves also. So don't lose those if they're stuck inside here. All right, so. The pump you can pull it straight off of there, no problem. All right, and there it is. There's the pump. All right, I heard the timing chain and the gear and all that. Ah, oh, boy, it's got a little bit of play in that chain. I sure hate to even touch this stuff. Create a problem. I don't know, think about it. 